Please excuse the appearance, but something has come over me and I just have to make this video. <laughs> I had completely different plans for today. I was like, right, I'm gonna shoot a like top 10 things in my wardrobe that I'm happy to bring back for spring. Like not a haul, but basically just like going through my wardrobe and getting some more spring vibes in because everything in there is still quite wintry. But last night, something came over me and I couldn't stop myself. I couldn't help myself. And normally this is the kind of video that I would be like, right, I'm gonna break it up into eight parts and stick it on TikTok. But I always get comments in there saying like, I would love to see this as a YouTube video and I would love to see more wardrobe content on here. So that is what you're getting today because I feel the need to try on every single thing in my wardrobe <laughs> and basically have a bit of a spring clean. I mean, it's the time of year. I probably haven't done this since maybe like summer last year, like August. And I feel like my body has changed a bit, my tastes have changed a bit. I've bought a few new things and I just need to go through and declutter. To be fair, there might be some things that I wanna sell, but I also feel like there's a lot of altering of things. I noticed like one of my Arquette jumpers the other day had like a teeny tiny little hole in the arm that needs repaired. So I feel like there's probably gonna be a bigger pile of things to take to my seamstress, a few things to sell, but just have a bit of a rearrange and also like fall back in love with my wardrobe again. I think this is a really good way of being re-inspired and like finding new things, digging things out. Um, so yeah, that is what we're gonna do today. A big spring clean. Um, yes, I'm still in my pajamas. Um, this is like genuinely how I woke up this morning with my hair. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. I haven't had a shower yet, but there's an itch that I need to scratch and I just have to do this now. Also, side note, my body, which you will see when I'm like trying things on, is currently riddled with psoriasis everywhere um, and I can't lie it's making me a bit sad um, I'm going to pick up some things today like on prescription that will hopefully help I had a doctor's appointment yesterday but just a heads up because it looks like my body is really angry with me and I know there might be some comments on it so um yeah we're working with psoriasis sheet today so I actually started this last night and I tried on every single pair of trousers that I own Mark came in and he was like what are you doing it was like half night at night and I was like trying on every single pair of trousers uh there were five pairs that I wanna to take to the seamstress. There are some dish linen trousers that are just a little bit too long. My Levi's 501s, I think I wanna get taken in at the waist slightly. There's some Asenio secondhand trousers that I got from Curate and Rotate that again, a little bit long. Um, these are my redone high rise stove pipe jeans, you know the ones. Um, I feel like these need taking in on the waist a little bit as do these toe 10 black trousers. So there was a few things to take to the seamstress and then a few things I think I'm going to sell um, these redone shorts. I love these. However, these are like way too big around the waist for me now. They were always like a little bit oversized anyway. And I feel like it's not just a waist thing. It's like they kind of need bringing in everywhere. So I thought I would sell them, um, but I've actually bought them <laughs> in a smaller size. They were on the out net. <gasps> Saved myself like over a hundred pound buying them on the outlet. Um, so I have already bought these in a smaller size, but hoping to sell those. There's a pair of dish linen trousers that I really, really love, um, but they're just in the wrong size. And you know what, I can just stick them on Vinted and someone else can get a bit of love out of them without needing to pay all the, the duties and customs. I think I'm gonna sell my Cos jeans. I actually bought these recently and really, really liked them. However, they're in a very creasy fabric which I don't mind with something like linen but for my denim I don't want my denim to be super creasy um so I feel like this is a fabric thing rather than a fit thing but I love the look of them so I'm in the market for like a wide leg cream jean but one in a slightly heavier fabric that doesn't crease as much oh this is from curate and rotate I got this so recently it's like a wrap knitted skirt but I think it's just a little bit too big for me and I, I you know when you just know I'm like oh I just haven't worn this I've definitely had occasions to wear this um so I think I might resell this back to her oh and this is just a pair of leggings that I have only worn for like one pilates session and was going to wear for today's session so ignore those oh and then these two tops I kind of need to get started on tops but I was like I just think I can sell these these are actually from Dish as well this one I picked up from Vinted I think I just saw like something from Dish and it was on Vinted and it was in my size. Um, and I had already the black and I can't remember what this style of top is called. But I think it's one of those things that actually isn't that flattering on me. There's something about like the cut of the neck. It's really, really tight. And I was like, this is what I need in my wardrobe, but 
it's a little bit too short in the body on me as well and I think I just need to have one of those moments where I like calm down, <laughs> come back down to earth. <laughs> they can get a new home on Vinted. And I think if I was to rebuy something like this again, I'd wanna go for something that is like a slightly lighter rib. Right, this video is gonna be about an hour long, so we need to crack on. <laughs> I've just had a quick look through. <laughs> I just had a quick look at my bags and I think I'm super, 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 super happy with the bag collection. I don't know if there's anything to cull here. I've obviously got like my big straw tote. I've got my Alien Nina rope bag. The Chanel wok lives in there along with all my other dust bags. Oh, that was a bit dusty. Then I've got my Celine Hobo bags. My Loewe Hobo bags, oh, avocado green, love. My Loewe puzzle, and this one is from Suzanne, and this one is from Arquette. I mean, that is more than enough bags for one person. I feel like I have every single occasion catered for here. Okay, I've just been through all my shoes, and I think there's only actually one pair that I want to sell and get rid of. These are from Musée Paris, and actually, I really feel that my wardrobe was missing a knee-high boot. Gave me so many more options in terms of like skirts and dresses, heeled boots, keeping both of these. The Dear France's Park boots might just be the most comfortable boots ever. <laughs> I think these are the ones that I want to sell. These are the Dear Francis Tony boots. I mean, obviously they need a really, really good clean, but the white flex in the sole have just gone a bit yellow. That's not a problem for me. I don't mind that. Problem is that these are now a little bit too small for me. What size are they? They're a 38 and a half anyway. I remember the team saying like size down a little bit in these because they come up big. But I would say since pregnancy, obviously my feet have got a little bit bigger and these, I, I like love them so much, but whenever I wore them, they would rub my feet so bad. And I was like, oh, I just need to get a bigger size in these. So I probably might wait until, I mean, it's a long time to wait but they do 20, 25% off around Black Friday. I would 100% repurchase these, probably just with the plain black sole, but they're such a good like versatile boot. So would repurchase, I just need a bigger size. She's a trainer girl now. I'm a New Balance. I also have three pairs of the Birkenstock clogs, but I do wear these all the time. For loafers, these are both from Arquette. Nice to have like a suede version and a leather version. For summer sandals, I've got my Aviana flip-flops and then my Birkenstock Eva sandals. Sorry, I'm literally wearing my pajamas. I've realized I've got green juice down me. <laughs> I don't think I could part with these. They're from Mango. They're like the Chanel dad sandal jeeps and mine are literally falling apart. <laughs> but they are very comfortable. My Uggs keep. And then this is where I keep my three pairs of heeled shoes. I've got my like Jan Vito Rossi leopard print ones and then I've got my by far black sandals and then them in like the pink as well and then my lock are sandals you know like the really strappy ones oh i love these popping those back on top it's quite nice because i feel like i'm sort of sorting out my spring wardrobe as we go um i was gonna do dresses next i know i'm gonna keep all of these <laughs> i actually hang all my dresses now because they're all quite heavy and i obviously don't want them to stretch out um so this is the base range shawl caftan dress Oh, I didn't go through these. I've got two boiler suits. I'm keeping them both. This one is Suzanne. This one is pre-loved. Um, but it's from a brand called The Only Jane. And I'm obsessed. This is the Ada ribbed dress from Dish. Obsessed. Going back in. I did buy, I think this is called the Harper dress. And it's in this olive green. Oh, I love it. Going back in. And then the Dish Donna dress. This is the like kind of bit of like the short sleeve kind of cap sleeve black long maxi dress got a lot of wear out of that so that's definitely going back in and then in terms of dresses that are a bit out of season so we're like over on my other rail um i think i'm gonna keep them all this one from self-portrait i'm obsessed with i did a selfridges job and i shot a photo over there and i just think this is gonna be like my go-to fancy dress <laughs> not fancy dress <laughs> you know what i mean in the winter and then my isabel moron um linen dress i'm obsessed with this occasionally you buy something i've probably had this for like five years now and it was a really 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 good purchase just absolutely love that i've tried it on before i know that it still fits so definitely keeping that um this is a loewe vintage dress that i had shortened into a mini dress i can't wait to get this out in summer and then this is from totem i actually rescued this from a giveaway pile i was like I haven't really worn this this summer, like not really feeling it. Put it on a giveaway pile and then saw it on a giveaway pile and had like regret. And I rescued it and I'm so pleased that I did because I'm so much more into dresses. I feel so much more confident wearing dresses these days. I love the colour of it. Um, See, so yeah, I am so pleased that I kept this. These are both um, like ribbed oversized tops from Arquette. Really, really loving these. And I think because I have these, I'm not sure I need the dish ones that are in the giveaway pile. I know they're slightly different in terms of fit. These are like very oversized and they're like very, very tight. But they definitely have a similar feel and there's like one in black and one in a cream. Um, but I don't like them hanging up like that. They upset me, hung up like that, can't explain why. So I think I'm gonna fold these and keep these over there with my knitwear. Right, let's try some tops on. Maybe let's try some jeans on as well. I feel like I'm not gonna get the vibe with 
jogging bottoms. <laughs> okay, this I picked up secondhand um, from Curate and Retain. It's from a brand called Asenio. You would have seen the trousers earlier. I'm going to try and get the trousers shortened. So it is part of a set, which I really, really love. I think this is a nice alternative when I don't want to do like a t-shirt necessarily. This is what I'm lacking. Like this is what I need more of in my wardrobe. Like next time you see me buy something that isn't this, be like, Anna, what are you doing? <laughs> Top options that aren't a shirt and aren't knitwear. That's what I'm really lacking. You will see there really isn't that much in my wardrobe in this category. Um, but yeah, definitely going to keep this. Okay, this I just picked up from a Depop seller called Eleven Vintage, and I really like that it's lightweight. It's a really thin denim shirt. Um, I thought it was going to be thicker, and at first I was a bit disappointed. I was like, oh, it's like not as thick and structured as I'd want it, but actually I think I like that it's a little bit baggy. Um, I can obviously do denim on denim, or like denim. Ooh, please? Maybe. It's very new, so I haven't really given it like a chance to breathe in my wardrobe yet um but yeah i'm gonna definitely keep this this is from dish and it's a little like linen swing top i would definitely want to wear it with something longer underneath but it looks so nice with the matching black linen trousers um so yeah definitely gonna keep this one as well and then this top is from isabel moran it's really hard to show on camera but it's got like a kind of ruffled bra section can you see that so it's like thicker here and it's a little bit like ruched in the middle um i'm so pleased i bought this because this was a very good like fancy top to go with jeans um, and i wore this quite a lot in the winter actually um so yeah really feeling this i have got one more top nestled over here and i know you know this one this one is from 16 arlington and has like ooh. The feathery bottom and um, this is like my go-to party top um so keeping that one as well but can you see there's just like not a lot of tops like very much t-shirts knitwear shirts kind of blouses twists on a basic kind of tops that's really one section in my wardrobe that i would like to expand a little bit now we enter the shirt section of the wardrobe you can do this all the way up i feel like i went through these shirts quite rigorously last august so i don't think there's going to be anything to declutter here um, but maybe i'll just show you my shirts this one's jeff avenue and then this one is our care um, if you're wondering what the difference is between them the jeff avenue is much shorter and then the our care is linen and oversized i have a feeling i kept all of the our care oversized linen shirts so i was like they're just something that I wear again and again and again, come back in every season. This is from Dejai Studios. I have the matching shorts that go with it. And I've actually just realized it's missing a button. Um, so this is gonna go into my pile to take to my seamstress and I'll see if she can like match it up for me. Hello. <laughs> this is the oversized linen shirt from Arquette, but in the beige. But you're in stripes and I'm in stripes. Yeah, but Ooh. horizontal and vertical. <laughs> it's a look. It's a look. <laughs> I always get questions when I wear this one, but it's from Arquette and they actually have a really similar one in this year. But this one's a cotton poplin style instead of the linen. Tucks in really nicely as well because it's not too heavy. This one is so fun. It's from Faithful the Brand. This one is from With Nothing Underneath. I love this blue. I feel like I've had this for a good like three years now. Always love wearing it. This one is from Jeff Avenue and I also have it in the black. I think it's called their On The Go shirt. This is the Ash and this is the Mocha and then I also have the matching trousers for both and I just really enjoy wearing this as a set and then another oversized linen shirt from Marquette but this time at the black I think the moral of the story is do not allow me to buy any more shirts I have more than enough <laughs> I've currently got four full track suits and actually there is one that I am so so disappointed in so I feel like let's talk about that this is the Arquette soft terry track suit um, I've got the matching trousers and the top in the grey absolutely love please bring this out in more shades <laughs> it's my favorite this is from american vintage you know this these are the jogging bottoms that i have repaired i think actually i need to take them back to francis yes i do <laughs> she's repaired them on one side but then on this side hello i've got another hole there you go so that's in the pile to go to my seamstress but the one I'm so disappointed in is Adenola. I was like, oh, I'm going to treat myself to an all black tracksuit. Oh, I've also got a grey one. It's an Adenola top and Lululemon bottoms because I love the Lululemon bottoms, but they don't do them with a matching top, which is, again, very disappointing. It's what I was wearing like earlier in the video. So I have two grey tracksuits. I generally at home am wearing a grey tracksuit, but I was like, I really want a black tracksuit. Bought this from Adenola and it's just one of those ones that is so nice when you get it out of the packet, you put it on, oh, it's fluffy, it's lovely. And then you put it in the washing machine and it comes out feeling like a crisp. Really, really disappointing. I feel like it's shrunk a little bit too. 
Um, so I will either sell this at a much reduced rate because obviously it isn't as nice as straight out of the packet or I will donate it. But yeah, I'm just so disappointed in it. And whenever I wear it, I'm like, this is nowhere near as nice as the other tracksuits that I have. Okay, jackets and coats. I don't feel like there's gonna be a huge amount to perch here, but let's try some on. Maybe if I put you down. This one I found on Vestier, I think, from Totem. It's like a linen fabric blazer. Mm -mm. My Max Mara vintage jacket. I mean, can you imagine the shock? Shock, the shock waves it would send <laughs> if I said I didn't want to keep this. I just, I feel very strong feelings towards this jacket, as you well know. Oh, three out of three, second hand. This one is pre-loved Jaeger from Curate and Rotate. I just feel, feel like this suede jacket is like my new personality. <laughs> the Totem Pisa Trench. I mean, they've got a gorgeous trench in the season with like, no buttons, very minimal detailing, and it's just utterly gorgeous. Um, but I really love the Pisa style from like a few seasons back. I've got it in the beige. I've also got it in the black, which is, you know, obviously going back in. This style of Totem blazer, like I feel like I just found my oversized blazer style. It's like so perfect in that every other time I had a blazer, I just wanted to rip out the shoulder pads, but this is such a subtle shoulder pad. Um, so yeah, it's exactly the same style as the linen one, but it's in like a more classic blazer texture. And my Whistles Clean Bonded Jacket. They have recently had stock of this again, so it's definitely one to keep an eye out. They've also bought it out in a really nice, like deep brown as well. Um, but I'm so pleased I kept this. Okay, now we're moving on to coats and jackets that I had already put over on like the out of season <laughs> rail. Uh, so these are definitely more wintry. This one is from Arquette and it's just their like wool black kind of roby coat. I definitely did not wear this as much this past winter, but I feel like it's one I should keep because it's always gonna come back in. Do you know what I mean? It's just a black oversized coat, like very comfortable, fits me really well. It's not like a fitting thing. So I definitely think I'm gonna keep hold of this one. It was my second winter with my Ray Raglan sleeve coat. Um, I say I wore this a lot. I think because I had this one, I didn't wear the Arquette one as much, um, but yeah, it's just fun, very fun. I thought it was a bit crazy buying this Gammy raincoat. Um, but I literally wore it last week. <laughs> like, it's just so good. It's also one of those things that whenever I put it on, whenever I wear it, I get compliments on it. I guess it's like a little bit different, very practical, a lot of money at the time to spend on a raincoat, um, but actually probably one of my best investments. <laughs> this Arquette shawl coat, I think it's called, or shawl jacket. Um, oh, Ew, I want to rouse tissues in the, in the pocket. I think it has been one of my top five most worn things on wearing. So that tells you everything that you need to know. Okay, I've been having some thoughts about this one from Totem. This is like the little attached scarf coat. My first thought, I think I got this in a size too big. It is an oversized fit. And actually on the website I saw, I think it was on the net a website, they recommended sizing one size down because it is quite an oversized fit. So I think I've got this in the equivalent of a UK 12. And I think I probably need a UK 10. Also, can you tell I've really been thinking about this one? And I knew this would happen with this jacket because I really wanted it last winter. So not this last winter we've had, but the one before. But I wasn't crazy about the colors that they came out with. And now they have come out with one that is just all black. Everything on it is all black. And I'm like, that is so much more me. So I think, hear me out on this one, I might sell this but buy the all black version in the size down because i really like it as a style of coat i think it's really different i think it's really different compared to everything else that i own and i did get wear out of it but i think i would get even more wear out of it if it was in black i saw it on my friend ebony i'll link her instagram down below for you in the description box also there are so many things in this video um i'd say the best thing if you want to find the link for something i'll link you up to my ltk and i've actually got categories on like all of the denim that i own all of the activewear that i own all of my coats that I own if you go in that category you should be able to find either the exact item or a dupe so I'll link that down below for you that's gonna be the best way to link things up um but Ebony was wearing it in all black and I was like damn girl it looks so good so I might sit on this one for a little bit longer but you might be seeing this sold but it is to be replaced by another one. I'm thinking about it. This one I picked up pre-loved from Vestier a good couple of years ago now and this felt like the gateway into totem for me. I definitely didn't wear it as much this autumn winter, but maybe it's one to put in my spring wardrobe. I think I might hang it up here. It's quite thin, so it's really good for like transitional days. Also, if I'm just wearing like a t-shirt or something underneath, so let's go in there. Another second hand buy, this is from 
Ami, I think that's how you say it, A-M-I-E. Um, I did have this over on my like winter rail, but I also did wear this to pick up Ralph yesterday because it was freezing. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm still getting wear out of this, even in April. <laughs> Just a gorgeous oversized like wool beige coat. Um, a very, very good purchase. Also like love the pockets. Okay, I've reached the part where I've lost steam, <laughs> but this is very, very, very cool. The people who are making our kitchen have just posted our kitchen like in their workshop on their stories. Okay, right, head head back in the game. We were doing so well. I feel like the bulk of my spring wardrobe is now here looking all lovely. That feels fab. I've got some things to sell. I've got some things to send to Francis. And to be fair, there's only two parts left, which is knitwear. I mean, is this video already 45 minutes long? <laughs> and then what is in the other room, which is like basics, active wear, and sort of accessories, hats, scarves, swimwear, that kind of thing. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. I had a quick flick through my knitwear and I don't think there's anything that I want to get rid of. So this is just going to be a little quick try on. I will try and make this speedy. So I mentioned I was going to keep these Arquette tops over with my knitwear. So this is the black one and this is the one in cream. I also keep my dish Ada top over there, like not hung up because I don't want to stretch it out on the shoulders. But I love this top so much. It's taking every ounce of restraint in me not to buy it in the black. However, it is quite similar to the Arquette. Kind of. Ooh, I don't know. This is from Totem and this is one of like the chunkiest, biggest jumpers that I own. Like the arms are so long, but I love it. This one is from Arquette. It's one of their wool heavy knit jumpers from the men's section. I have it in the navy and in this OT kind of color as well. I got this one from Totem from Vestia and it's almost like a rugby style top and it's like a little bit ribbed as well. One of the longest standing pieces in my wardrobe, my cashmere jumper from Equipment. I feel like it has a hole in it somewhere. Yes, it does. So I'm going to take this to Frances just to see if she can fill that in. The Gaspar jumpers from Suzanne are a classic. I have the black and I have this brownie shade as well. Honestly, toes head knitwear really is chef's kiss. And then this really oversized boxy cable knit is from Arquette, possibly one of my favorite jumpers. I've also just realized, I think I've got maybe like three jumpers downstairs as well. I've got like an Arquette cardigan. I've got my Arquette gray jumper. I think that needs to go to Francis because like I said, I've spotted a little hole, I think in the elbow. And then also my totem kind of like fluffy oversized OT knit as well. It's quite similar to the one I've just worn. That's in the wash as well. This is a recent buy from Depop. Obviously not going to come into its own until next winter, but I kind of missed having a roll neck in my wardrobe. And this is just like a gigantic roll neck. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on with this one, but this obviously isn't really until next winter. It is so heavy <laughs> and so thick, but I like the vibe. All right, it's been a while since you've been in here. Um, this back room is above our kitchen. So when the still work was going in, there was quite a lot in here that they needed to like take up floorboards and skirting boards and stuff. So hence why all of the clothing is in our room right now. Um, but in this dresser, this is where I used to keep like all my knitwear and my denim, is where I keep um, like my winter kind of main accessories and my summer accessories like swimwear and all that kind of bits and bobs. In the winter one, I've just been going through, I mean, this doesn't fit it all in, but I've got a little, I think that's a Uniqlo ultra light down jacket, two pairs of socks. I think they're both walking socks. And then I've also got these from Uniqlo as well. These are thermal tops. So I'm just gonna fold these up roll them up and put them back in. I am being thorough today. <laughs> Truly going through every single thing that I own. And then if I pop that back in, I can add in my two hats. I don't think I'll be needing these anytime soon. Hopefully not. These are both from Yan Tan. I've got an oaty kind of colored one and gray one. Just popping those on top there. And then I've also got two scarves. This one is from Cos, this one is from Acme Studios. I'm just gonna fold those up and put those back in as well. I don't think I wore this one once. <laughs> This winter, but I'm still gonna keep it. I feel like this is a bit of a weird winter because obviously our things like weren't all in one place. We didn't really have the luxury of like getting ready in a leisurely way this winter, so I'm keeping those. Um, and then for summer, I've got ooh, like a sporty cap. I will keep this just in case I ever decide to go hiking ever again. I love this hat. It's from Avenue the Label and it like folds up. <laughs> That's great. But it fits my head perfectly. Is that a weird thing to say? So good for like summer holidays. That is going in. And then I've got three swimming costumes. I've got um, a black one and a brown one. These are from Half Eight London. Really, really like these. And then this one is, it's the classic from Hansa G. Um, I'm going to pop all of those back in as well. So I got rid of nothing. Oh, except this steamer. I also have this steamer in here, but I was like, I've got my steamery one. I've also got my like big steamery one in the other room. So I'm sure my mom or a friend might want that. It's just looking a little bit neater and a little bit more 
organised. And then this dresser, I've got three drawers, and it's where I keep my underwear, and then my pyjamas and active wear, and then my basics on the bottom. But I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go through, I'm, gonna, I'm doing the whole, I'm doing the whole damn thing today. <laughs> oh, I found a button. Oh, that might be a good button for my Gajai Studios linen top. I'll keep that to the side. I'm not sure you want to see me clear out my underwear, so I might skip this drawer and be on me. <laughs> okay, I'd say that underwear clear out wasn't exactly fruitful, but I don't necessarily think that is a bad thing. I did find these Skims bras that I just personally find a little bit uncomfortable, so I might sell them because I think I've literally worn this one once and I haven't worn this beigey coloured one at all, so I just like stuffed the cups back in them and maybe someone else can give them a good home. I just got to have a good like reorganised, a little tidy. Um, and then the middle drawer is my pyjamas and activewear. Already I can see these. I think I might finally sell these. I'm a little bit sad about it, obviously I'll give them a good steam, but they're from Senio and they're lovely silk pyjamas in this gorgeous, gorgeous colour, like it's literally sunshine. However, I never wear pyjamas like this and I know I'm literally keeping them just in case I ever have to shoot anything in pyjamas, which is wild. <laughs> Because I've definitely got other things that I can wear. I've always got like my H and M little like linen wrap dressing gown. Um, but yeah, I feel like someone could give these a much better home than I could, and then that means I can actually fit all of the pajamas that I do wear into my little organizer. Um, I actually wear these all the time. They're from Organic Basics. I did a sponsored video with them when I was pregnant, and these are one of the things that I got. Just a t-shirt and shorts, and genuinely obsessed. Like actually obsessed. I have them in like a dusky pink kind of colour, a navy and a black, and I just wear the t-shirts with more of like a tracksuit in the winter, and then the t-shirts obviously with the matching shorts in the summer. So there you go, now they actually fit in there. These are my walking trousers, which I don't think I've worn since we are in California, which is like 2019 or something. Um, so I'm going to pop these in the drawer down here because these don't get a lot of wear. Where. Let's get it all out. Okay, I've got walking socks, Pilates socks, spin socks. Let's keep all of those. And then t-shirts for if I go to a class. Personally, when I'm at home, I just wear like a sports bra and a top. If I go to a class, I like to wear a t-shirt and those ones are from Lulu Lemon. Like, do I need to keep these tops as well? Probably not. I might sell these. These are more like vesty type tops but like i said i've got those two tops and i don't go to workout classes that often outside the house so i don't think i need those anymore and then i think i might keep all of these sports bras <laughs> the Lululemon lemon line bra is so good i've got it in the black and also the brown as well the brown i love the y bra is really nice as well and i've got it in this like greeny shade that's definitely going back in and then also i think this is called like the align high neck vest this is a good in between i wore this to a class the other day like you don't necessarily want to have your belly out but you're still going to sweat and get really hot that is a really good option so i think that's looking a little bit more oh yeah there you go that's looking a bit better if you want to know where these are from i'll leave them down below for you there's just like an amazon find that i got a couple of years ago when we moved in now and they're very handy especially for things like this I can already tell I'm going to keep, <laughs> I'm going to keep all of these. I've got the Align shorts and then I've also got the Align leggings in black and also the brown and green and these grey ones and then also these like pinky whistles ones that I think I showed you in a video or a TikTok. I found the set on Vinted and I'm super happy with that. So yeah, okay that's looking, oh that's looking more better actually. Right, final draw. The final draw. Okay, we've burnt through a whole battery, so this video is probably officially like an hour long now. But this is the final drawer, and I'm not sure there's much to get rid of here. Um, you would have seen this before. This is my basics grid of all of my favourite vest tops, and then crew neck t-shirts, heavyweight crew neck t-shirts, and then long sleeve oversized t-shirts. And I've got each of those from our care in a white, a beige, and a black. Um, just very easy to find what I need, and the way that it's ordered, I remember where everything is, so I can just grab things really, really easily in the morning. Um, I did find this black top. This is a long sleeve top from Marquette. This is different, because this is like slim fit. Um, and I found it hanging up, and I was like, that does not hang up. I don't know why I put that back there. I've now got a new little section here that has like the white version of that top, and then also my base range tops. I've got one in a beige and one in a black, and then I've got those Arquette tops. So they just go in there with like the little 
long sleeve top section and then all of my miscellaneous t-shirts and mostly vest tops actually go in here oh i did buy this from dish it's so cute a little cap sleeve number in there so i just roll everything up and put it all away i might just color coordinate this a little bit better oh i got this from dish as well <laughs> give me time for making some orders um this i just thought was so nice and kind of went more into the top category. Might I hang that up? I might hang that up actually. I feel like I'll just remember it a bit more if it's hung up. Feels a bit too nice to keep away in here. And then in this leftover one, I keep my big oversized t-shirts, aka the one I'm wearing now from Mirror Water. But that is everything a little bit more organized. So that's going back in. Okay, so some things to sell. One thing to hang that up. That's everything. I've actually finished this video. You know what? I've really enjoyed making this video. This was the video that I wanted to make today. And hopefully that comes through. Um, I feel like I can finally get on with my day. <laughs> I really, really just had to do this. And actually, although there's been a few things that I've been able to declutter and I will sell and I will sort that out. And a few things to take to France as my seamstress. Um, if you want her details, what's the best way to contact me? Maybe email me, Anna at the Anna Reddit, be like, hey, I'd really like to see Mistress's details and I will let you know. Um, she's local and she's fab. Actually, quite a few things to take to her. But more than anything, I feel like this video has just made me fall really in love with my wardrobe, like hard. And I'm like really, really excited for spring, really excited to get like playing a little bit. But I'm going to cut myself off now because this video will be very, very, very long. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Maybe it inspires you to do a little declutter of your own. And if you're interested in any selling tips like how I sell clothes online and how I declutter. There's lots of videos on my TikTok on that so I might link some down below in the description box for you. But anyway, that is it. Right, we'll stop. Bye, bye. Thank you for watching.